Good morning to everyone. Today's thought is also a continuation of yesterday's thought from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yesterday we saw the last part of that verse knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. But today I am going to share with you the first part of the verse. Because you know that your labor is not going in vain in the Lord, because of that, Bible says, Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Many times when we do something for the Lord, when we pray, or when we serve the Lord, lot of discouragements comes on our way. It, it will try to stop you. It will try to move you. But Bible says, be steadfast, immovable, and also abounding in the work of the Lord. In the ministry of Jesus Christ, in many times, he went through like a time of disappointment in some places they asked Jesus to go out of their village Jesus went went out of the village but he did not stop his ministry he was keep on doing his ministry he was keep on increasing in that ministry because he knew whatever he is doing for God's purpose Father God's purpose it will never go in vain we all know that that incident when Jesus came back many people the same people who asked him to go out of the village now the same people receiving him because by the time they knew who Jesus was so whatever the ministry he did in that village he did not go in vain not only Jesus Christ after Jesus Christ many disciples they went through discouragement but they did not stop the work of God they were keep on increasing. Take life of Paul. He was keep on doing the work of the Lord. He went through many, many, many disappointments, challenges, discouragements. Bible says many times he went through uh, nakedness. He went through many beating up. He went through prison experience. But he, he was always increasing in the work of the Lord. Nothing stopped him. Today the Lord wants to encourage you. Be steadfast immovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. If you are praying, keep praying. Increase your prayer. If you are doing something for the Lord, never stop it. Keep doing and keep increasing it. It will help you to see the reward of the Lord. Let's pray. Jesus, help us to be motivated all the time. Many times, Lord, the discouragements are coming on our way. It's hitting us. But help us to increase in your work all the time, Lord. Let your presence be with your children. Bless them, guide them, encourage them. Help us to pray more and more. Help us to come to your presence more and more. Help us to seek your presence more and more. Help us to do whatever we are doing for you now. Help us to, Lord, do continuously and help us to increase in us, O God. Remove every spirit of discouragement. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it, O God. Let this day be a blessed day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.